Hello and welcome to the Let's Play of Open TTD No Go. Uh, my name is Sirius TC. I'm here today with Fugor. Hello there. And we're trying to play this uh, patch for Open TTD called No Go. Well, Tr I'd we're trying that. actually. Yeah. It's a feature. This is well our second try because well yesterday we had a little bit of a technical malfunction which is quite unfortunate but yeah like like about. four hours gone to waste yeah <laughs> oh well I guess that's your my punishment for not properly checking the recording software yes that's your fault yeah or the recording software's fault I just blame the software always blame the software the problem possibly uh, can never be between the chair and the keyboard. All right, so let's make oh, a nice track. Yeah, that's 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 nice. That's nice far away. I've overshot the station actually. We've got uh, one million max loan, so we can basically spend all we want. Oh, really? Oh, all right. Then uh, let's go all out. Ah. <laughs> Well, we can double it right away. Uh, yeah, it's a good one actually. So yeah, basically, this is a new feature which allows for scripting of goals. Oh, not enough gas. Um, yeah, scripting of goals. So right now we're on town growth, but they probably Making will add cities, more. stuff like that. Yeah, you basically have to deliver uh, a number of goods to every city, or well, to the cities you want to grow, and you need to uh, satisfy their needs before the uh, city will actually grow, which is pretty nifty. Um, we're now building our first line. It's our money maker line. We're going for maize and livestock because it doesn't make that much money, but we can use it later on for our growing our towns. Get because some food production going on. If you look at this town, you see that uh, we need passengers, water, and food. So we'll already started on the food production before we even are growing our town. We'll probably start with one of the smallest towns anyway. Like, well, this one is in the middle of nowhere, so it's not of much use. This one seems to be somewhat near where we want to start. It already has a water tower, which is very good, because when towns require water, they won't actually automatically build a water tower. Which is quite silly. Money. Yeah, those things are expensive. I'm uh, working on a second line now of uh, some maize. Crank up that uh, food production since we have such a high loan. Yeah, we can also start running the. Uh, what are called the uh, livestock trains if you want to. Yeah, we could do that as well. I'll just add another platform. So, livestock. Just uh, share the orders, of course, because, well, the destination will be the same. We are going for the high density signals. So we can actually have many trains packed tightly together on a line, which is pretty fun. By the way, we are also playing with this list of uh, new GRFs. Um, yeah, basically uh, Open Graphics Plus for the extra industries. Um, Dutch tram sets for the extra trams, of course. Industrial stations which is awesome. I really like that. 
uh, so you can have custom stations, uh, heavy equipment set, which is quite cool, but uh, if you've got the original vehicles, you'll probably use those more. Um, yeah, AV8, uh, which is by Pika, which is one of the best uh, new GRF makers, in my opinion. We've got fish ships, which is, well, probably one of the few and probably the best uh, ship uh, set. And chips seems to be stationed. I think it's eye candy mostly. I'm not entirely sure about it. I haven't played with it before. Oh, it isn't. It's simple platforms. Okay. Well, we do have DWE, new objects and stations. And that's about it. And why? Oh, great. I messed up a bit there. Building the extra platform. So, Fulgor, we've played this yesterday. What uh, are your thoughts yes, about it? Uh, it's actually a pretty good map. Um, I like that it's kind of flat, although they could make a hard version of it later, I guess. The mountain uh, map. Which would be cool as well. But uh, yeah, we've played like uh, like a map like this uh, already. We've played on the Lookland servers, which also had a town growing uh, goal map. Yeah, but that was more competitive. This is just for fun. Uh, yeah, I actually like the competitive scene more. Although, at least you won't have to start over again on this one for a while. Yeah, the competitive one was basically uh, the first one to. 5,000 inhabitants, or yeah, I believe so. two hours of gameplay total. Added a, just a little bit of breaking space on the station. We should probably uh, use two uh, locomotives on a train. Ah, right, yeah. I thought, like, usually you have, like, better trains in the start of... Uh Map, but well, this map is like I don't know. You're getting uh, quickly looking at the getting the worst trains there are. But yeah, probably we need to. Too. You're right about that. Yeah, we do need to. The trains are way too heavy. So I'll add another one now. Yeah, you you can you can fix the trains if you want. So I don't have to do anything. <laughs> you slacker, you. I'm always slacking. So, we move one of the wagons, of course. And another locomotive. And start the train again. Um, we are nearly... We've nearly spent all our money. So you have to be careful about that. Yeah, we'll be fine. Train is nearly there. Just a bit more. Well, you've built some big lines already. I've been busy, man. I don't yeah. slack. I, I pretend I do, but I actually don't. Yeah, I noticed. You forgot to refit a train. Yeah, oh, where? There where? I've already taken care of it and. Uh, that one. Yeah, yeah. It's my uh, my fault. Oh well, I forgot a couple of times too yesterday. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for this train to uh, deliver its goods, so we can make another train at the, the far north station for some maize. 
So let's see how much it earns. Hopefully enough to make the train. Yeah, probably. 74k. Uh, let's and see. And the we'll train is right. only 63k. So it's actually pretty good. Train number six is on its way. Good so far. Should have a nice uh, food production soon, so we can start our city in a bit, I guess. Yeah, well, with small cities, we don't need that much food production. True. But we actually make money if we deliver it, right? Or isn't that enabled on the server? Yeah, it, we make more money of delivering food than delivering maize, so... It's good to produce more anyway. Let's get a nice city uh, at the top of the map, the other side of our uh, food processing plant. Well, I've, I've found a small city, it's only 63 people. Uh, where's it? And it has, well, two cities nearby. Yeah, we have, look, we have to look for some passengers nearby, so that's very I'll nice. I'll just put a sign on it. Sure. Oh, you want to go all the way there? It's not that far. Hmm. Hmm. Is there any water around it, though? Um. Yeah, there's some to the east. I, I actually prefer a city with some water close by, so we can transport it with uh, trucks. Would be ideal. Well, we. Uh, well, by the time the town needs water, we can. Uh, already. Uh, find a water well, I guess. What What do you think about this? Town over here. Hold on. Let me see a sign. There's like a, a 162 liter uh, of water supply nearby. So that's a very good. Well, uh, that is pretty good. And it has a few cities, big cities nearby as well, like three. Yeah, I think it's better. It has quite a few nearby, so yeah. we can set up and it's a uh, decent And it's also trailer. near our tracks, so we can have a nice connection with our food. Uh. Yeah, true. So I think that's the best spot. Okay. So I'll just start building some extra roads. Yeah, I might have to find a water tower in the end, but uh, so be it. Yeah, well... It's not that expensive. Well, it only costs like half a million. <laughs> yeah, only. Now we could also settle with that other city, uh, Farsea Paulista, which is just a bit to uh, uh, the down left, which already has a water tower, but has 336 uh, inhabitants. Yeah, let's go with a small town. Yeah? Alright. That's most fun. So we'll just need to keep adding some trains to the network, probably. Yeah. Quite sure of that. Ah, uh, you've already done. So... If you keep adding trains, I'll start make I'll start building passenger services for this town. If you don't mind too much. No, go right ahead. So I'm placing the town on the grid because, well, grids are nicer to work with. making another station for some maize can never have uh, enough, enough food I guess
Ah, not enough money. Luckily, we can borrow some. Okay, I thought we had run out. Never been running out of money. So we use BBS, of course, because it is way nicer than pre-signals on stations like these. Hell yeah. And it is way easier to use for new players anyway. Because you don't need to learn all the different kinds of signals and whatever. So let's set up a passenger service first. You're going with some buses in the city or like uh, connecting it to uh, another city? I'm connecting it to another city. Sure. Yeah, our uh, city is so small. doesn't like it enough. <laughs> really? Yeah. But we've got a solution for that. Yeah, sure. I'm going to... Plant some trees. Plant some trees. Best solution ever. Uh, not enough cash. But You've already made a nice station over there. Looks good. Seems we already have a bigger uh, line than the other people in the server. Which is quite funny. Since we've been only been playing for like 15 minutes. Well, they probably have taken care of it better. Well, well perhaps, but it doesn't look that impressive. Not making a lot of money either. And we are. Yeah, our profit kind of spiked. <laughs> it is pretty funny to look at. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Since they've been at it for so long and we just, you know, own it like two months. Game time. Yeah, we need a lot more trains. I mean, all the stations so far away from the food processing plant all need extra trains. Once we've got some money coming in, to, it should skyrocket. Yeah, it should. Well, I've got two buses running. Hopefully it will be enough for now. We might actually use some trams for this instead. I could do that as well. They are way more efficient passenger wise, but it is better to use less efficient and more vehicles in an early age because you need a steady inflow of goods instead of bursts. True that. And more income. Got a new train running as well. Okay, cool. So far, so good. So let's build a pickup station at the food processing plant. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Going 
going to clone some trains in a bit once I find out uh, which train belongs to which station. Well, you can open a train list on the station, you know. Yeah, I can also just open a train and see which station they're going. Yeah, true. Let's see, Mossoro North, which is Mossoro North. Nope, not that one. Mushroom North. No, oh, that's better. Okay, so we've got a pickup station, but we can't choose the station in town because trains deliver too much goods at an infrequent frequent, uh, times. So it won't benefit the town growth that much, so we need a transfer station outside of the town to transfer the goods onto and then deliver them by truck. Yeah, nothing we can do about that, but uh, it'll work out eventually. waiting uh, till we get some cash so I can clone this train getting a lot of cash now and there we go yeah we should also look into paying off some of our debt ha <laughs> forgot refitting a train again <laughs> so not used to that So I'll just build a station over here in like the middle of nowhere. But it's okay. Yeah, it's a good place, I guess. <laughs> 